All right, Shalom. Uh, I want to start off by giving all praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rechak Double honors, double honors to the other apostles of Great Millstone for giving wisdoms and the teachings of the Scriptures, along with what comes with them. You know, peace and salutations to the hopefully elect out there in the world, and uh, Shalom to the sincere Achyam across the globe, and the few sisters that might be listening to this. So. Uh, yeah, I'm back with an, with another video, and for this one I have, uh, you know, the subject of uh, the so-called woke culture and, uh, you know, this gender-affirming uh, stuff and all this craziness that's, you know, going on on the globe right now, where it's like gender, dysfor- uh, gender dysphoria, you know, stuff that all comes along with it. I have a bunch of articles and of course scriptures. Now this is from uh, 31st January, you know, a few weeks ago. Um, it's from 85. Uh, that's uh, the news broadcast uh, channel here in Amsterdam, the Netherlands. And uh, you know, uh, it's about uh, the University of Amsterdam. Uh, where there's a whole lot of things going on, uh, by the way, of this guy called Laurens Buys. He uh, made some uh, remarks or some, uh, he said some things, you know, that are basically he's right. Uh, this is him, Laurens Buys, you know, you see him. Got a little bit of long hair. I think he's an Edomite, so-called uh, Caucasian, so-called white person. Um, you know, um, because they 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 are going uh, against their own people, man. And immediately, as I said it, there's a scripture coming to mind that. Uh, uh, I haven't even prepared. So that's how I see that the spirit works uh, like that, man. You can prepare as much as you want, but still it's going to go uh, the way the spirit wants it to go. You know? So this is Matthew chapter 12, uh, verse 26. And it says, If Satan, and if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself, how shall then his kingdom stand? All right, because this kingdom right there, right now, this uh, this this eon, this age that was being given to the so-called white man, it's uh, it's ending. As soon as you see the apostles and the prophets stand on the streets, it's ending. But also the downfall is very, so like you're very clear. Uh, another scripture that comes to mind immediately. Uh, it's from James chapter 1 verse 26 uh, 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 it's not from there one second bear with me I'm gonna Google it. Or oh, maybe I can find it in the uh in the other one. Maybe it's from the Apocrypha, that's why. Uh it's on Tong Fallet. Uh, we have to Google it. That's no problem, it's no problem. You just hang on for a second and we'll get on uh, to the next uh wow. Uh, 
46 and 8. All right. So that's the scripture that I was looking for. <laughs> Psalms 46. Verse 8. And it said, and it's crazy because we just read it in the, in the camp, man. You know, first of all, I, I'll start up a little bit higher, man. Because that's what's going on in this whole woke culture, this whole uh, turning things upside down, uh, letting these children believe that they uh, that it's okay to be another uh, uh, gender, another sex. Uh, that's all madness, man. But it's a it's a it's a scheme. It's a it's an it's an uh, you know a plan. So Psalm chapter sixty four verse five, verse four, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect. The perfect are the Israelites. Suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil manner. The commune of laying snares privately, they say, who shall see them? Now, the word snares is a trap. Because if you go into that bullshit, if you're a whole lot of, you know, Israelites, Jakes, Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, but also other people from other nations, man, they fall into that shit. You know, and there's a whole bunch of uh, uh, facts I can bring up uh, after this. Um... But I've seen also them, uh, them social media, TikTok and whatever videos, uh, Instagram videos, where, where people who change their, uh, uh, so-called change their sex, claim to be, uh, you know, other than the most I created them, uh, turned into something else, and then uh, they regretted that shit. You know, so it's a strap. And I read on, so they commune of laying snares privately, they say, who shall see them? Because, you know, uh, those elites that are on the top of the world, that's controlling this world and, uh, you know, brought it in the situation that it is in, they don't believe in the Most High. And they think that it's uh, all good to do what, them, what, what they are doing. They're making this big money, you know what I'm saying? You know, money that some people, we can't even count it, we can't even pronounce it. There's no word to describe how much money they have. Verse 6, they search out iniquities. They search out iniquities, they accomplish a diligent search, both the inward thought of every one of them, and the heart is deep. And the heart, that goes into La'ab, and that's the brain, man. See that thing that they call the heart? You know, that's just a muscle to keep our, you know, body going, keep the blood flowing, you know, and making sure that you don't drop dead on the street, <laughs> which a whole lot of people do right now. Because they had that, uh, uh, they had that uh, that snake poison, man, from the CV19 uh, 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 pandemic, you know, the Windows 19 pandemic, and they are all dropping dead, man, you know. The heavenly Father shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly shall they be wounded, and that's what's happening right now. Suddenly, we see it coming. You know, if you are in this truth, you have seen it coming. But if you've been on the hand of this kingdom all the time, this is suddenly, man. Verse 8. So, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. You know? And all men shall fear and shall declare the work of the heavenly father, for they shall wisely consider of his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the heavenly Father and shall trust in Him, and all the upright in heart shall glory. Now in the first first eight, so they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. That's what this guy has been doing, man. You know, um, go back to the article. This guy called uh, Lawrence Bass. You know, he uh, he is their own tongue. Uh, I think he's an Edomite. I might be wrong. And even if he's not an Edomite, he's living like an Edomite. I can, I can, show, I can, I can assure you of that. He's living like a so-called white man. Because he got the skin tone of, of a so-called white man. All right? Uh, he's an, uh, a so, 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 sociologue. Uh, I don't know how you say that shit in English. So let me, <laughs> let me look it up, man. <laughs> uh... I wanted to say uh, social sociopath, but that's not the word, man. He's a sociologist, 
sociologist, all right? So he's doing that. Uh, that's the. Uh, uh, just, uh, he's expert in or student of the development, structure, and functioning of the human society. So all these things that's happening, he's like, uh, he's not a master, but he's uh, very educated on these subjects, all right? And he wrote on 18 January in a, uh, on a, a journalistic platform of the, of the university, Folia, he wrote, he wrote, he wrote an, uh, an article about the woke culture that is uh, on the uh, University of Amsterdam. And it says that uh, the academic uh, freedom of his faculty is under pressure right now. He says that the diversity, uh, uh, how do you say it, uh, diversity, uh, shit. <laughs> I got to translate it, man. Uh, I got to translate it. That's better, man. But anyway, yeah, the, the diversity policy that's on his, uh, on his, on his faculty, it's, uh, it's a Trojan horse. And uh, it says that the radical woke uh, thinking is being brought into the organization. Uh, and in a high speed, it is being normalized. All right? And, that's all that, and those are his concerns. All right? Um, let me see if I can uh, translate the shit, man. Oh, they have it in English. I forgot. Yes. So uh, read on. Uh, on 18 January, the UFA, the UFA sociologist wrote in an opinion piece on the university's journalistic platform, Floria, Folia, about the fact that the woke culture that prevails at the UFA threatens the academic freedom of his faculty. According to Bias, the diversity policy in its current form is a Trojan horse bringing the radical woke ideas into the organization and rapidly normalizing them. Right? He said, in addition, he wrote that he sees the non-binary phenomenon and the associated obsession with pronouns as an empty hype. Bias believes that a debate about the statements is not possible and that he's portrayed as a bad person. When I make such a comment, it affects those people so deeply there is no room for debate. And, but, but that's what they are. They are a bunch of fucking, uh, you know, uh, emotional retards, man. And if you go in with that, and he, he did a whole lot of good things, man. Like, uh, for example, he called in sick because he knows, man, if he stays there, it's going to be a problem, man. One of them might stab you in your back, literally, with a knife. You know, he might get attacked by some, uh, uh, you know, female that claims to be non-binary or whatever the case might be. But that's a feminist and that feels that all men are, uh, you know, scumbags, <laughs> you know. Uh, the, the socialist also went to the executive board as a whistleblower, whistleblower with complaints about the threat to academic freedom. After an initial meeting, the UFA announced that its complaints are being taken seriously. It will take it up in an external committee to investigate. And uh, that happened also. But he said uh, uh, the discussion with the executive board also went wrong. It has risen so high that we couldn't figure it out. I want the relationship with the management and the board to improve first before I go back to work. Otherwise, I feel unprotected. And that's very wise of him to do that, man. This way, he still gets paid, and he don't, uh, you know, uh, he, he, he don't uh, have the risk of being physically or mentally harmed. You understand? Uh, yeah, so it's, it's basically one another one in uh, in, in the many cases that we have on this planet right now, with all these fuck nuts, these crazy ass fucking demon ass people, if you might call them that, and they turn the, they turn the world upside down, man, and as I said it, I go immediately to Isaiah, chapter 29 uh, and 60. Now you might see that a whole lot of uh, 
uh, notifications and apps, you know, uh, come in the screen. If you, uh, you know, uh, if you don't like that, I don't know what to say. All those, if you can read them, those are from the, the elder brothers or the apostles of GMS, you know. And if you see the name, you might also look it up on YouTube, and then you can find out more uh, scriptures, uh, more lessons, more videos, like from uh, Bakar Ahmad, who's from GMS, or even GMS Info Dot Channel, that is from Apostle uh, Arim Lab, you know, Apostle uh, 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 Tahar might pop up, or Apostle Kapar. So you can always pause the video and then check out the name and look it up for yourself, man. This is just a <laughs> that's a little promotion I'm doing, man. A little publishing. I say chapter twenty nine verse sixteen. Surely your turning your surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay, for shall the work say of him that made it he made me not, or shall the thing framed say of him that framed it he had no understanding. You see? They're turning things upside down, man. The Heavenly Father created male and female. All right, and as we uh, I go a little uh, back to the book of Genesis, chapter one, verse twenty-seven, and it reads: So the powers created man in his own image, in the image of the powers created he him, in the image of the heavenly Father created he him, male and female created he them, and God and every and the powers blessed them, and and the powers said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply. And replenish the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish and over the sea and over the fowl of the air and over every living thing that moved upon the earth. So he created male and female. And you know, it's all right, man, for you to say that, nah, there is no God. You know, that's all, that's all, that's all fine and dandy, man. That's all sweet. But guess what, man? Uh, let me go into my Bible first. Uh, look it up very quickly for you all because you got these people saying that right mm. got these people talking about yeah there's no God I don't know. I don't know it right now. I, I, if I if I find it out, I'll, I'll drop it in the scripture. I'll drop it in the description box. But the scripture I'm talking about is the one that it says, uh, "It's unbelief." Yeah. Maybe the other one. Nope. But it's beautiful, man. You kind of find out some, you know. If this. Uh, let me look it up on Google, man. You know. Because you got all these people talking about there is no God. All right, that's cool. Romans chapter 3, verse 3. I knew it was in Romans, man. Yeah, man, it's a lot here for that. But this is the work, man. You got to look things up, you know. Right, Romans chapter 3, verse 3. For what? If some did not believe, shall their unbelief make the faith of their heavenly Father without effect? All right? So, it doesn't matter if you believe or don't believe, man. It's like you sticking, a, you know, ostrich, he's sticking his head in the, in, the, in, the, in the sand or in the dirt or whatever. And there's a lion coming. Well, where ostriches live, there's no, there no lions. But, you know, you know I'm just giving an example. Let's a wild beast come to kill him. 
and he stick his head in the ground. Is he not going to be eaten? Yes, he's going to be eaten, man. Does it matter if he believes that he's not going to be eaten? He will be eaten. All right? So, and then that's the same thing with these people, man. You know, these crazy ass people say, nah, there's no God. I don't believe it. It doesn't matter, man. It's still going to happen. Things are going to happen, all right? So, yeah, those are things that are happening, you know. Um, all this non binary shit. People calling all the, themselves all types of gender. I believe if you make a Facebook account these days, you got an. Uh, you got 56 options to choose from, all right, to choose from, and, uh, you know, basically make it your own, and then say to the people, yeah, I want you to call me this way, and I want you to call me that way, and that's why I'm happy to be working in construction, man, for the last two years, because on my, in my other job, I wouldn't, I wouldn't survive it, man, you know, being in these, uh, uh, swimming, uh, 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 you know, swim schools and uh, pools where I used to work. Those are a whole lot of bunch of crazy ass people, man. Imagine a female being a female in front of the summer and then had a change. Whatever she doing, you know, they got these, uh, you know, chemicals that might that change a man, or you know, they give a, a, a female certain types of hormones, make a voice more bassy, whatever the fuck the case might be. And imagine coming back at the end of August, and then I have to talk to Susan, but she's now, uh, I don't know, Rudy, or whatever the fuck. No, nah, Rudy's not a good, na good name. Her name is now uh, Tom. You know? Imagine that shit. That's crazy, man. That's madness, man. So, if I want to go to... Uh, this shit right here, I want to open it, but I can't, okay, don't worry. I got a, a thing to do that. Bear with me for one second, please. Keep it. Go there. Go into the history. I used it a few days ago, but yeah, there it is. Because these people think they're smart, asking people to pay for shit. Um, this is not the one, man. This is not the one. Well, we need that one too, but I'm looking for... Uh, Twelve feet. All right, let's do it this way, man. Twelve feet ladder, right? The twelve feet ladder, man. Wow, what the fuck is going on, man? I know, man. Satan be fucking around. No worry, we're gonna catch it. We're gonna catch it. We're gonna catch it. Don't worry. Right here. So on this thing you can uh you can easily uh you know go around the paywall. All right. So there we got it. The big man himself, man. Trump vows to stop gender affirming care for minors if re-elected president. So that's a guy that you want in in your office, man. You know. <laughs> well, you don't want anybody in your office. As an as an Israelite, you wanna you wanna you wanna Jake as a, in office, but for now in this world, that's a guy I would so called vote for, man, because he says that uh, in a video released Tuesday that if he's elected, he will punish doctors who provide gender affirming care to minors and push schools to promote positive education about the nuclear family and the roles of mothers and fathers. As part of a wide-ranging set of policies to use federal power to trend, target transgender people, in a straight-to-camera video posted on his truth social platform, Trump said he would take he would task several fed, task several federal agencies to pol police 
and ultimately stopped gender-affirming care for minors, which he equated to child abuse and child sexual uh, mutilation. You know, you don't have to really read everything. You can look it up for yourself. Again, it's on NBC News. If you wanted to use the 12 feet uh, .io uh, firewall ladder, then you can, you know, climb over the wall. Trump's vows to stop gender affirming care for minors if re-elected president. And that's what that's what this world needs, man. You know, not more of this garbage. But it's too late anyway. And you know, Yaopa Shimaosha, Yaosha is on his way, man. So it needs a cleansing. That's what the world really needs. You know, but uh, this is a good thing, man. You know, because they should be hunted. They should be hunted down. You know, these people that do that. I saw a video where a, a father or a grandfather went to the to the school of his son, because for two days in a row they uh, dressed his son in a in a dress, and he uh, he talked to the teacher uh, that was doing that. He talked to her. And she was uh, covering behind the fact that he has to talk to the uh, the big boss upstairs, the, the the director or whatever, you know, the boss of the school, you know, the principal. And he said, "No, I'm talking to you." Now I must say the children were there, so he would have he, he would have made it easier for himself if he waited till after school and uh, approached that female back then. But that filthy bitch. She was talking about, yeah, my children, I don't want you to raise your voice uh, when my children are around. And that's the craziness of the school education system, shit system, I must say. Because how can you say that the man cannot raise his voice around your children? These are not your children. These are your students. You have to act accordingly, man. You cannot say these are my children. You know, I don't... (laughs) I know, I know a bunch of Jakes and Ishmaelites in the world in Amsterdam right now. If you talk to them like that, eh, you're probably not going to see the end of the day or you might end up in a hospital. And of course, they might, might end up in a, in, in, a, in, a, in a jail. That's right. I know that for all your softies out there that might be listening to this. See, the thing is, the message is about, yo, you got to know what you're talking about. These are not your children, man. So that's more nonsense coming from these people, right? And somebody like Trump don't want it to happen, and he says that if he comes back, which I think the United States is better off with a guy like that than that, you know, that 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 corpse that's sitting right now, Joe Biden, who's clearly not even, you know, uh, capable of even moving by himself. Joe Biden strikes me as an, an as, a, as an MK Ultra uh, victim gone on steroids, man. They they just these elites they just having fun with him. They just laughing their ass off, you know, seeing all the types of things he be doing. He he walks like he cannot even walk, man. So uh from that one we come to the Utah. It's also from NBC News. Again, use the firewall firewall if you want to read it. Utah is the first state to pass a gender-affirming care ban in 2023. Governor Spencer Cox, who vetoed a restriction on transgender students at least last year, signed the trans health care bill into law on Saturday. Uh, Utah is the first state to ban gender-affirming medical care for transgender minors this year. Governor Spencer Cox, a Republican, signed a bill Saturday that bars minors from receiving gender-affirming surgeries and places an indefinite moratorium on the access to puberty blockers and hormone therapy. Because that's what they do. They use puberty blockers and hormone therapy. Now that word, moratorium, I don't know what the fuck it means. Uh, Maybe you can go on, you know what I'm saying? A temporary provision of, of an activity. Well, so it's temporary. So here it reads, a temporary block on the access to puberty blockers and hormone therapy. So it's not definitely, you know. And I must say, man, we, we, we're in the end times right now. So no matter what Trump does or uh, that guy Paris from the UFA, University of Amsterdam, do, uh, you know, they'll, they'll come back harder and even more vicious and even more, uh, you know, Malicious and fucking demonic. Utah 
The bill, which passed in the Utah State legis Legislature last week and became effective Saturday, immediately after the governor signed it, is prospective so minors who were diagnosed with gender dysphoria before the effective, effective date would still be able to receive care if they meet a list of requirements. All right. Um, and the rest of it you can read on by yourself. I'm not going into all that shit. You know, but that word right there, right? Gender dysphoria. Um, gender dysphoria is a term that describes a sense of unease that a person may have because of a mismatch between their biological sex and their gender identity. This sense of unease or dissatisfaction may be so intense it can lead to depression and anxiety and have a harmful impact on daily life. So there you have it, man. Bullshit. For the last 20 years, 20 to 30 years, they've been uh, attacking, uh, you know, the, the people, you know, via their television, via their uh, movies, their music. Their fucking uh, 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 spells that they put in the music, you know, and all types of fucking garbage. That whole alphabet squadron, that them alphabet people, you know, coming up, uh, uh, putting them in all types of positions in the in the in the society, you know, uh, and also uh, making uh, weak people uh, doubt themselves. And then you get gender dysphoria, a sense of unease that a person may have because of a mismatch between their biological sex. Are you fucking out of your fucking mind, bros? Huh? The Most High doesn't make mistakes like that, man. We got male and female in cats, male and female in ants, male and female in trees, plants. We got male and female in tigers, lions, uh, all birds, fishes, you know, name it, man. And then we come to mankind, and then all of a sudden we have 56 types of fucking genders or sexes or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Man, you're out of your fucking damn mind, man, these people, man. You know? And having said that, I want to go to a scripture too, man. Because I, I cannot, you know... Uh, look, I see my battery is getting dead. I don't know if I'm going to load it up. Deuteronomy chapter 23, man. And it's the first bar, <laughs> the first verse. Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 1. He that is wounded in the stones or had his privy member cut off shall not enter into the congregation of the heavenly father. So, if you do that, he's done with you, man. And this is for the Israelites only, man. But also, if you're a Chinese person, so-called Chinese person, which are Moabites, or a so-called Kuli, East Indian, which are Elamites, E-L-A-M, not Elamites, E-D-O-M, no, nah, E-L-A-M, Elamites, who have been a great nation themselves too, man, back in the days, right? These people are fucking butt crazy if they do that, man. And if you're an Israelite, you're not going into the congregation of the Heavenly Father, man. That means you cannot even speak these words that are written in the in the Bible, man. You need to die and be born again, man. <laughs> All right? Now, uh, there is no thing as uh, changing your sex. You are what the Heavenly Father created you. Sure, you can cut off your private stones, but we just read what happens if you do that. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lived, as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. It's according to the Heavenly Father and the scriptures and his rules and his commandments and his law, you should put anybody that, that's lying with the same sex, you should be put to death. So let's say you got Johnny taken off his, his, his rod and now claims to be female. He's still a man. Let's say he takes down the testosterone level with all these fucking uh, uh, devil uh, potions that, you know, the so-called white man that he created for him. And he got now a voice like this. 
doesn't matter. He's still a man. That soul right there is a man's soul right there. All right? And he should, he should, he should be put to death. Right? Crazy, isn't it? Nah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful fucking full, man. Those things that, 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 that uh, are written over there, man. You know? So we're going to speed it up, man, because I don't want this thing to fall down before, the, you know, the, 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 uh, the video is done. This is about uh, that, that guy, Leah Thomas. You see, uh, you see it here? Look at this shit. Terrible, man. Terrible fucking ball, man. Terrible shit. And this is the female, Riley Gaines. You know, this is a female, you know, looking not happy, man. Now, let's look at the injustice that happened here, man. Uh, can you believe this? I opened it already, man. Yeah, the firewall is open. I raised Leah Thomas. This is from the Telegraph from 8 November last year. I raised Leah Thomas and I still feel the burning injustice. Riley Gaines, the female on the right, intended to pursue a career as dentist after graduating, but she's now consumed by the quest for fairness for women in sport. Ah. Eight months after she raced against Leah Thomas, the transgender swimmer who ignited the global firestorm by winning a national female collegiate title in the United States, I'm so tired of this shit. Hang on with me for a second, man. Uh, fuck. What's the firewall again? No, really. This is just Satan fucking with us. I'm telling you, Satan, you better get, get behead, man. Get behead. For a second, right? Oh, really, man? Okay, here we go. Bye, bye. Uh, eight months after she raced against Leah Thomas, the transgender swimmer who ignited a global firestorm by winning a national female collegiate title in the United States, Riley Gaines still feels a searing sense of injustice. It felt, she says, like heartbreak. Women had dedicated their entire lives to this, yet spent five and a half hours every day in the pool to have it taken away from you by somebody who only a year earlier would never have even qualified for this competition as a man. It was a total slap in the face. But the, indign but the indignity she felt were only just beginning. The day after she was Thomas, who until starting hormone therapy was ranked a mere for 554th as a man. <laughs> so there's one there's two things here man first thing a male is superior to a female when it comes to physic uh 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 uh, uh how do you say it to, to being physic all right physical on a physical level a male is stronger than a female you know and it starts very early i saw this morning i saw a 30 40 year old uh mma fighter or whatever it was you know uh Fighting a, 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 I think a girl in the twenties, and he beat the ass, man. I, I didn't saw the whole fight, but you know how it goes these days. They show you only the highlights, right? And I saw maybe four times she had to take it. She had to take him off, man. Stick on the arm, stick on the hand, stick on the shoulder, you know. But he had him, man. Saw a video of a footballer Neymar playing football against females. We saw, I saw videos of a, a one-leg uh, football team, these guys that have only one leg, play against females with two legs, got their ass kicked. I saw Draymond Green, uh, the NBA player from the Golden State Warriors, talking about some, uh, uh, with, uh, was in a debate or, uh, you know, with a, a WNBA uh, player, player, I must say, and he, uh, you know, he also came forward like, yo, you know, it's crazy that y'all want equal pay because nobody's watching y'all. <laughs> all right, that's the first thing I, I, that comes to mind. Second of all, this guy, Leah Thomas, is a, is a scumbag, man. You are a little bitch. 
for you to change your gender and then go to compete with females and be all, uh, you know, feeling all great about it. You you should be ashamed, man. You fucking piece of fucking shit, man. Leah Thomas, if you or anybody down with you ever hears this, I hope you burn in fucking fire, man. Today. And I pray you die, get hit by a fucking bus or whatever, man. You should die, man. You fucking disgusting scumbag. All right, so, uh, but the indignity she felt were only just beginning the day after she was Thomas, who only, who until starting hormone therapy, was ranked the mayor 554 as a man. Fangish, every female rival in the country, in the country, she found that they would be direct competition, competi- competitors in the 200-yard freestyle final. They finished ultimately in a dead heat for fifth. Except, <laughs> except only Thomas was allowed to hold the fifth place trophy with gains told by an official that it was for photo purposes. So they finished at the same place, but they gave the, 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 the creation of man, that fucking thing right there, they uh, gave uh, it the fifth position. And they gave the female the sixth position because for photo purposes. So that the world can see, like, hey, she still ended fifth, eh, right? But that means that number one to four are females that are stronger than that shit over there, right there. You know, so this is a very, <laughs> a very weak male. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, man, and it goes on. She says so she was saying how it, this was wrong. She has the officials. She said, you're surely, you're seriously going to give this trophy to a biological male over a woman? She asked the officials. This is bullshit and you know it. This person won a national title last night and here you are disadvantaging women at the woman's event. All right? And it goes on, you know. So that's what's happening right now. He's got the fucking freak again. Looking all fucking disgusting. All right? But hey, this is what you wanted, man. There's also about this transgender cyclist with, uh, that we got here. Probably going to have to open it again. He's removing the paywall. So that's what's happening. All right. All right, man. All right. Don't worry. We're going to do it the way we want y'all. Y'all want it to be done, man. It's opening. Yes. Says, uh, this is from uh, 16 June last year. Cycling has become the first spot to impose stricter rules on transgender women in the wake of the toxic road to engulf Emily Bridges and Leah Thomas. So even in cycling, these things come up. They even got the IOC, the International Olympic Committee, uh, you know, of course, coming into it. They got the rules, uh, how much testosterone level you need to have for you to... Uh, be in the competition and it reminds me all of this shit right there man South Park uh, I know if y'all watch South Park I do and uh, and macho man <laughs> they they put they put strong man. They put. Uh, <laughs> I know if I can play it, man. I'm gonna play it anyway. it out for yourself man you know <laughs> and that's the, that's the thing I, the, the thing that comes to mind immediately man these crazy these people are fucking bad crazy man bad fucking crazy people man retards man retarded 
as in the song of, M of the late MF Doom is being said. So, all right, man, we're going to finish it up. You know, uh, these people are crazy. This world needs to end. The Heavenly Father needs to come quick, uh, needs to send his son quick. I'm Salahia. You know, uh, Yahweh Shai, which the world ignorantly calls Jesus. Uh, but saying that word in this video already makes me, it gives me the creeps, man. There's no J in the, in the, in the Hebrew alphabet, man. So you cannot use it. And there's also no, uh, J in the, in, in the, in the alphabet that we use right now before, uh, what is it, the 17th century? So, uh, yeah. Amos chapter 5, verse 20. Shall not the day of the heavenly father be darkness? Huh? This is not Amos 5 and 20, man. Yo. See, good. Five and fourteen. <laughs> yeah. Amos chapter 5, verse 14. Seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the heavenly Father, the power of hosts, shall be with you as you have spoken. Alright? So if you seek good, he will be with you, man. And good is just staying a man, telling your female what the situation is, being in control of the household if you have one, uh, dealing in the right way with a female, you know. And then the most high will, will be with you, man. If you, seek, if you seek evil, bad times, which all these, uh, you know, Edomites are, are facing right now. Because even them be like, oh, what the fuck is going on? If you see the reactions on the, on the social media, you just know that the people are, you know, they, they're not with it. But they keep pushing it on the world, man. Not all people are with it. You have some beta males and some bucked out females that are down with it. But uh, the people don't like it anymore, man. And with that, we go to Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. I got only 12% left. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20, man. And it reads, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So that's the whole thing uh, that we read in Isaiah chapter 29 about, uh, you know, turning the things upside down, man. If you do that, it's woe unto you, and woe means destruction, man. All right, and the last uh, verse I'm going to put out, uh, the last scripture I'm going to pull out is Romans chapter 1, verse 21 to 27. And it reads, Romans chapter 1, verse 21. Because that, when they knew the heavenly Father, they glorified Him not as the heavenly Father. Neither were thankful, but became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. All right, so that, you know, go go talk to one of these freaks, these people that believe in the alphabet. Uh, uh, I want to say alphabetic slaughter of my papoos. The the alphabet people. Uh, go talk to people that change their, you know, claim to change their sex, that uh, claim that it's okay for your son or your daughter to choose between uh, 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 what gender he wants to be, he or she wants to be. At the same time, you know that. Sexual education for you, me, I'm being 42 right now, uh, it didn't happen before uh, elementary school, man. Before I was 12, I never had sexual education. The, the whole condom story and the vagina and the clitoris and the rot, it came when we were, you know, in our 13 year old, man. All right? Go talk to them, to these people, and they, they'll tell you, man, there is no God. There is no Heavenly Father, man. So their foolish heart is darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. <laughs> so I'm alright to, to call these people dumbass fucking idiots, man. They are fools. And change the glory of the uncorruptible power into an image made like to the corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. So they like to put Buddha out there instead of uh, the heavenly father. They like to have a cross on their wall instead of reading the scriptures. Who changed the truth of the Heavenly Father into a lie. On oh, no, Verse 24. Wherefore the Heavenly Father also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Who changed the truth of the Heavenly Father into a lie. And worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator. Who was blessed forever. Amen. For this cause the Heavenly Father gave them up unto foul affections. 
For even the women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the man, leaving the natural use of the woman, which is to serve her husband, burned in their lust one toward another, that Sodom and Gomorrah spirit. Man with man working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. So there you have it, man. You're going to have the recompense of the error. You're going to meet that recompense, man. All right? Now look up that word recompense before we close it off, man. See, you're going to know what's what, man. Now, all these articles I read about George W., uh, George Bush, uh, 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 Donald Trump, or uh, the female that goes against uh, Leah Thomas and the whole uh, swimming thing, or in the cycling world, uh, they they might or Utah, you know, abandoning this shit uh, for uh, for minors to have sex changes. Uh, that is all for now, because they'll come back harder. Because the powers that be are behind this whole shit, all right. And here and there, uh, the people that are against it are that are that uh, or that are not with it. They might have a little victory, but they won't win the war. And that's why this world needs Yahweh Yahweh Shine, man. He needs to come back with his angels, shoot the place up, light it up, burn it to scorches, and then we need the heavenly kingdom, and the kingdom of a heavenly father, man. And Yahweh Atasa, Lord fully willing, I'm part of that group of Israelites, you know, that that <laughs> that might that's gonna slaughter these people, man. The people that are ruling the world. Okay, uh, recompense. Uh, the recompense, man. Uh, a reward given in compensation. So, <laughs> you, uh, you, uh, I just you reap what you saw, man. <laughs> All right. So this is beautiful. I hope this lesson has been edifying. And uh, on to the next. Shalom.